the, so did the, the hailstorm uh, killed 70% of all your crops? Yes. This we, is the, the most tragedy. Oh, tragedy. sure, sure. Huh? No, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, that could put you out of business. I explained her. The one uh, who worked on the field began to cry. Oh, because she knew. Yes. She knew. Did you call me because you had to? Because you know I throw your suitcase out the window. I don't need you here to feel good. No, I'm not angry. I got better things to do. Tell your friends I will be just fine. Don't need no therapist. There's nothing like, nothing like wine. Thanks for joining us on another journey. Today, we're in Bulgaria and we're at Melnik. It's a beautiful little village of Bulgaria. And did you know that Bulgaria has some of the most amazing wines? And we're here with Nick and his wife, who is the owner of, what's the name of your vineyard? Villa, Villa Melnik. Villa Melnik is our winery. And it's a pleasure to be with you oh, today. Yes. And with uh, all the viewers on YouTube. That's so sit nothing. back, relax, and, and enjoy, enjoy the, the journey. journey. Wow, this is one view. In the geological past was the bottom of a lake, and the soils are sandy deposits on the bottom of the lake, quite narrow inclusions of clay and carbonates. So the soil's really the soils rich. Here. Are poor for everything else besides vines. Oh. And uh, for this reason, uh, in this area, vines are grown for more than six and a half thousand years. Oh, there are wow. Archaeological proofs uh, for this, and uh, we are following the tradition. I come from this village over there. Actually, I realized that uh, life is passing by and uh, the second half is approaching. <laughs> I decided to make something. Uh, to spend my uh, money, which I made in other businesses, to leave something behind. The winery is uh, very new. Uh, actually, in Bulgaria, uh, wine business and uh, private business were not possible until 30 years ago. Right, because it was under uh, yes, communist rule, yes, right? Yes, so all the businesses are new. It's a family business. Uh, we have uh, 30 hectares, which is something like maybe 75 acres, American oh, wow. acres of vineyards and uh, uh, one third is here in front of us. Oh, a new winery. There are quite a number of uh, wineries uh, around here. Yes, we learned uh, that. Over there in uh, the village of Hersovo, you can see a winery. It's a cooperative winery built uh, 90 years ago. Before the communism. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it, it was allowed to stay during the communism? Uh, yes, but it was nationalized. Uh, oh, okay. The government took it. Unfortunately, I cannot explain about flavors, but this is very rich flavors because this is miskit. Oh, I like that one. It's oh, very yeah. light, not very sweet. Yes, this is dry. Hmm. But we have a lot of sun shining and uh, High alcohol, 13. Okay. Oh, wow. You don't taste the alcohol content either. <laughs> Look at this. This is new vintage. Mm. Oh, yeah, just here. Yeah, I like that. That is, I, that's like my favorite white one. No, the, the, the next will, will be favorite. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Has things changed a lot for the better since uh, no longer being communist? Or uh, It depends uh, whom you're asking. Okay. If you ask me, uh, I'll say uh, the things have changed for the better. I have asked somebody who was uh, 50 or 60 when the political changes took place and uh, they had new, uh, no time to adapt to the new environment. And so the government was taking the, care of them, yes, now they're not taking care yes. of them. And uh, for retired people, all the funds uh, for retirement uh, payments disappeared uh, and so on. For them, uh, this is a disaster uh, now. Oh, yeah. But I believe that uh, for young people, they even cannot imagine uh, what was before. They 
live with today's uh, realities. We organize everything that uh, if we want to fill the tank which is below this opening, uh, the crusher will be here. Oh, and then that's where you start dropping into all your tanks in the three different levels. Eastern Orthodox uh, Christianity, uh, Saint Trifon, who is uh, considered to be a pet, uh, patron of uh, vine growing. It's like uh, the modern scissors yes. to cut uh, the branches okay. of the grape. Yeah. This is expensive. Crusher is above this opening. The tanks uh, are below. Is this where we were standing upstairs? Yes. After the fermentation period, which is about uh, two, three weeks, depending on the process, we take out the young wine from this uh, tank and uh, the leftovers from here go through this opening to the press on the lower floor. Okay. To be squeezed further, the liquid stays here. We don't distill wrapper, but uh, send uh, the leftovers, the dry leftovers, is uh, to be composted and uh, is fertilized to the vineyards after that. Oh, so re put it back into yes, the earth. Yes. Oh, that's a, that's a great way to do that. Yeah. Don't drink, only so drink. Don't think, only drink. <laughs> <laughs> that's my philosophy. Hey, that's <laughs> mm. I've, I've lived my life that way. <laughs> This is the one I'm intrigued with. This yeah, is orange, orange wine. wine. I got, um, studied in Boston Uni University. Mm -hmm. After this, uh, uh, she was in uh, UK three years training program. Sales, um, Johnny Walker, Guinness, mm. Smi vodka Smirnoff, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. She uh, worked three years. So in London, this kind of uh, wine, orange wine. Let's go to make this. This is very interesting, very modern, very good wine. We try and after uh, show on the market, and we receive a lot of um, prizes. I don't know. awards. Awards, yeah. Yes. We saw your awards. We yes. have lots of awards. And everybody like it. That uh, this wine. Uh, this is new for our market. Uh, it's new for me too. I've never had one or heard of uh, it. Maybe Nick, explain how we make this wine. So when you you mentioned the orange wine, is that made with oranges? No, it, uh, it's white wine made uh, through the technology of red wines. So after crushing, everything ferments together the seeds, the skins, and uh, the juice. Becoming more intense, for this reason it is called not white, but orange. Oh. We are, we are crashing on the top floor. Right. Then uh, red wines are fermenting uh, on the middle floor. White wines, rosés, are fermenting on this floor. Okay. Red wines uh, and one orange wine. Oh, and that's so uh, different. Yes, different. Uh, full body, full uh, aromas. A lot of aromas. Oh. Yeah, a lot of different uh, senses going on there. Mm -hmm. uh, I invite the people from uh, this village, our neighbors, mm -hmm. and they always make uh, wine and explain how we make this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And explain this is new, new, new. The people say, no, this is not new. This is the way which we use always. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is all the way to make white. Wine. Oh! We use uh, only oak barrels, mainly made in Bulgaria, from Bulgarian oak, but also from oak timber imported from North America. Probably you know that uh, American oak uh, is different species than European oak and has different tastes, different aromas. So it's uh, quite good uh, for, the, for the wine to have different uh, origins of oak. We use one barrel for no more than four times. The barrels are instrument to enrich the wine with uh, oaky flavors, aromas, to let uh, the wine uh, breathe through the pores of the, of the wine. And after that, uh, we sell to other not so uh, sensitive uh, winemakers or to whiskey manufacturers or branding. And we have uh, here another type of trailing of the vines. These are the traditional old uh, trails without uh, lines, without uh, uh -huh. pylons. We just tie them here, the branches, and uh, they are supporting each other. And stay like this. 
And so these are more of a bush then? Yes, these are bushy vines. I always thought they run along the, the lines like that. This is only here to remind me uh, how it was in the past. When I was young, uh, our family vineyard was like this, only bushes. Oh! oh. So this is more traditional? Yes, more traditional. Do you export to the United States? We have uh, one wine uh, distributed by Naked Wines, uh, a Californian-based company. Mm -hmm. How long do they stay in the, in the vats? The initial fermentation, which is uh, to convert uh, the sugars in the grape juice uh, to alcohol, uh, takes place for about uh, 20 days. Oh. But then uh, there are other types of fermentation to convert some of the uh, acids like uh, malic acid, other sweeter type of acids like lactic acid oh. and this can take several months and the uh, wines uh, mature to become better like women. Uh, <laughs> With young, women <laughs> uh, young women are attractive but uh, quite dangerous. <laughs> More mature and experienced, uh, experienced women have uh, much more uh, qualities. Uh, so it is the same with wine. Well said. Very well said, yes. The second favorite? Yes. I, I, I like her. I like her. We're, we're up to 15 favorites. <laughs> <laughs> well, I asked her while you were out flying the drone, I asked her what her favorite is. And she said, she said that, that it is like children. You can't yeah. choose one favorite. They have lots of favorites. <laughs> I only have one kid, so it's easy to have one favorite. <laughs> and it's really just the dog. Sorry, <laughs> Ivy. <laughs> the oh, cheers. Yes, cheers. My favorite again. Favorite again. And this is Sauvignon Blanc. Good, I like. But tasty. In such uh, cellars, uh, most important is to have constant temperature throughout the year. Uh, we are following one tradition in this uh, area to dig into the uh, sandy uh, hills uh, cellars and from there to receive free of charge uh, warmth during the winter and uh, coolness uh, during the... You dug this tunnel then? Yes. I told you this area in the past was uh, bottom of a lake and you can see here different uh, layers, the different colors uh, uh, white uh, from the carbonates and uh, the brownish is uh, minerals uh, from the volcano which are now rusting uh, on the moisture, mainly red but also uh, white ones. Uh, because of the minerals that's in the because soil? Of the minerals, because of the drainage, good drainage of the soil, uh, there are no clay uh, particles. Water is uh, draining uh, quite easily. Uh, the vines, they like nourishment and water. The wine uh, from uh, a vine which uh, has not uh, received uh, a lot of water is uh, much better than uh, if we have irrigated and fertilized uh, the vines. Uh. We're getting a sample from the barrel. Oh, sample from the barrel. It should be a good wine, it should be. Mm. It's a young wine. Yeah. From 2019. A variety Melnik Jubilee. <coughs> Melnik 1200. Now we shall go to another barrel, which is uh, only Grenache, Mourvedre and Syrah. From his vineyards. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So you store your, your wines here as well then? Uh, yes, he has two and a half uh, barrels. <laughs> oh. <laughs> his uh, volume, but uh, more important is uh, his feelings. Sure, yes. sure. Yes, his feelings. He's a wine producer and uh, has uh, grows uh, grapes and makes wine. Same. It's a Syrah Grenache and Mourvedre oh. in Bulgarian oak. Oh, I like that. Oak. Very fruity wine. Yes. And now you can try the same wine in French barrel. Very fruity. Even more. Mm, yes. Yeah. It's good. Oh, it's different. How many bottles of wine we do you make? We make 200,000 bottles per year. So just the aroma. Mm -hmm. Aroma. Body. So did the, the hailstorm uh, killed 70% of all your crops? Yes, it was tragedy. 
Oh, tragic, sure, sure. Huh? No, yeah, yeah. I mean, that could put you out of business. I explained her. The woman uh, who worked on the field began to cry. Oh, because she knew. It's not machined, it's hand-picked. Looked at by person per person to make sure that the grape is the right grape to put into the vat. It's personal. Very, yeah, very personal. Sorry about the uh, glare. Sun, sunlight so here. So this is hailstorm, and it sa says the hailstorm struck on July 1st, 2016. It devastated 75% of the yield. The grapes that survived took in all the strength of the vine. As a result, the wine has incredible strength, incredible concentration and power. Challenges create opportunities. That is so poetic. Oh, it's so moving. Cheers. Cheers. To take a good lesson from tragedy. You yes. know, that's that's how life is though. Yeah. You, you have to go through the bad to get to the good. Yes. Yes, the good. And God, I go through the bad a lot for very little good. <laughs> <laughs> but the good is amazing. <laughs> Oh my. I wish you could smell this. That's what makes a wine too. It is the rarity of the wine makes the wine. And you see it won oh, yes. award. Look at these awards. This is award uh, competition. Do you have more bottles of this? On this wine we have five zero 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 bottles. Oh, five thousand. Oh wow, so a very limited supply. If you want some of these bottles, we'll put a link below. Check out the link below. And I'm sure they'll ship them to you. Why? Yes. Uh, here we have uh, only the entire block is for table grapes. Oh. We don't make wine from these grapes. They you are... ship them? No, uh, for the guests. Oh! Uh, okay. Starting from, uh, let's say, uh, middle of July, we have until Christmas, we have uh, fresh grapes. Oh. Really? All the yes. way till Christmas? Yes. I don't know. Farms seem like a lot of work. Yes. But, but it's so rewarding. At least this kind. Especially when the wine is ready. Yes. And we are sitting around the table. Oh, <coughs> for sure. It's a pleasure. Your, uh, your wife showed us all of her favorite wines. Which is a lot. We want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank you for living life.